I apologize. Ooh, Oz has I, a cold. I, yes, I've, <clears throat> I've been fighting some kind of sinus horribleness. My voice is um, actually far better today than it was yesterday. Wow. Um, but um, but it's pretty awful. I, uh, I appreciate that it's probably almost as painful to listen to as it is to be speaking. So I'm going to try and keep uh, keep it to a minimum here. Um, we, as you as you all know, we promoted uh, the interesting viewer. Um, slightly non-trivial merges there because you just yeah slightly hmm. that team cleaned up a lot of uh, old and unpleasant stuff in the code while they were at it, and um, so it touched a lot of things. Um, I just finished doing the merges for that into the snowstorm, so I, 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 uh, I've just been through it. Um, we have four RCs out now. Uh, not all of them are updated to have merged that latest code yet. Um, but but will be shortly. Uh, SL share got updated and and went out yesterday. <coughs> uh, the maintenance zipper and sunshine viewers will probably go out over the course of the next few days. Uh, yeah. Merging sunshine and and interesting is going to be fun for you too. Oh yeah. Well. Hopefully, Sunshine will have done the worst of that when they merge. <laughs> so, um, I, I make no predictions about what order these things are likely to come out in. Uh, there's also uh, another one with a bunch of memory leak fixes that will probably be coming out shortly. It is going into QA now. Um, so... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I gather the memory fixes is uh, Monty's work. <laughs> no, no. Um, <clears throat> Monty has been cleaning up libraries. Oh, I was we'll still working see. in WebKit. We'll, we'll I don't think those. we've made much progress on that. Yeah, we'll we'll see that work uh, in a couple of weeks. Um. So, uh, the Oculus Rift viewer is still in a. In, in project viewer state, um, I don't anticipate any big changes there for a while yet. Um, we should be getting viewers, we should be getting the snowstorm viewer out. There are two minor bugs to be fixed uh, in the new LSL editing support, um, and then we'll, we'll publish that one, um, which will be nice. Uh, and, uh, the group bands viewer is on its, on its way to us. Uh, and we have Baker here to talk about that. So I'm going to be, I'm going to rest my voice for a minute and let, um, let Baker talk. Hello everybody. Um, so yeah, I am down to two somewhat major bugs and, like three or four minor, pretty minor bugs, um, mostly sort of notification and sort of user experience type stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm ready to sort of get this pushed out and have for everybody to updating them. He's not, but um, he's, he's already sort of a storm. Um, you, you're oh, breaking up, Baker. Uh, that I don't. Oh, I don't know why. Um, I. I mm, is it still okay? It's better now. A bit better. I should just probably talk more loudly. That's all. Um. Anyways. Uh. So I only have a couple somewhat major uh issues to deal with, and then a couple minor issues, but I'm I'm ready enough now that that we should it's ready to to come out and and go uh become public now i have uh 
already uh, made the repo public. I'm actually looking for it right now for everybody. But uh, here it is. So feel free to pull from this if you want. Hopefully there shouldn't be any um, ho uh, horrible merge issues because I just merged to the newest our newest viewer release, 378, so that should be okay. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I guess if anybody has questions, I'll, I'll be willing to answer them. Those those viewer changes won't work except on a region. Oh new, yes, new backend, it, right? correct. So while you can still use this stuff, it would be best if uh, the the code doesn't get into release until we've deployed the backend grid wide on Agni. Um, but yes, Morris on a DD you can test on, and there's maybe two other regions, but Morris is the one that is perfectly fine that one that one's the best one to test um that one will have the code and i think we're getting ready to do a, a more of a i don't know if we're going to do a grid wide a dd deploy or not but i think it would be helpful that way everybody can test on whatever region they want we can see if there's any other more if there's any additional problems um but there shouldn't be um so until we get it out uh, grid wide on agni it can potentially get into some weird states where you have people on the ban list that are also in your group, and the reason why is because you know when you added them, you might not have been in a in in the right region, or you know you won't you won't get the cap. It's you end up getting a cap for the for the service, and if you're not on a sim that doesn't ha that doesn't serve that cap, you won't be able to do anything with the ban list. So I would not put this in a release until get it ready, but don't get it into release until uh, it's uh, until it's deployed grid-wide on Agni. Um, I'm sure we'll inform you when that happens. So, next any, week? Do you have any rough estimate on, on when the server side will get deployed? I, there was an issue that we found uh, last week that I fixed and we pushed out to a DD yesterday. Unfortunately, the newest viewer that I had was giving me some problems in building with the Team City build, so uh, we weren't able to test that yesterday. Um, and I actually realized the builds were broke this morning, so I kicked them off again. Um, but yeah, the uh, we're we're hoping to get this pushed out sooner. Pretty, pretty, like pretty soon. The back end stuff is basically done, um, which is there, which is nice. <laughs> there's not a lot of competition for uh, release channels on the on the main grid. So once we're once we've done the the testing on a DD, it should be relatively straightforward to push it out to Agni yeah. on a pretty quick schedule. So um, hopefully, we're talking a few weeks. Okay, cool. Yeah, provide. Provided there's not a big lag, like, the, provided there's not a lot of other things in the pipe, but like I just said, there's not. I, I think this is going to be something that we're going to try to um, fast track out so that we can get this pushed out. Cool. Uh, now, now that Simon was working on some group chat improvements and he's been looking at that code, I was wondering if there was any chance of uh, notifying that system that somebody was banned and they can eject them from current conversations. Uh, that's a good question. I haven't looked into that, um, but we can test that and. Uh, if if anything, I'll work with Simon a little bit to try to make that make that happen. If we're going to do that, I don't want to hold up the basic functionality to get it. Yes, um, yes, I, I understand that, but I know that the, that code has been also looked into these days. So I was wondering if it might be a good time to take yeah. a peek at that integration. I I have not gotten synced up with Simon on what he's been doing, so I I can't really comment on how how related it might or might not be but um, I think that's that's getting that uh, something that the viewer doesn't need to worry about is 
um, is definitely something that's on our backlog of things to do. I don't consider it urgent enough to hold up getting group ban out. Um, so, uh, you know, if if the worst case is that you have to you have to ban them and eject them, then that's not so terrible. Banning them will automatically eject them from the group. It, but it's the viewer that's doing it. Uh, the viewer is the th yeah. The viewer does send out. Well, the viewer sends out both the ban and the eject notice um, message. Right. Right. So if uh, at some point we integrate this into our, uh, because we're going to be a while now with interest list, or our next release is going to be in a while anyway. Um, so if we get this into, let's say you guys release it server wide everywhere, um, and we have it in our own personal nightlies. Uh, it is only going to work for people that are on that viewer, though? Correct. Well, so to ban people, yes. But this, to join a group, you have to have a server-side check. Um, and that check will see whether or not they're, uh, they're on the ban list. So, so in theory, we could, um, we could eject them manually ourselves, add them to the ban list on our, our own nightly, uh, and when that user tries to rejoin the group, they won't be able to get in. That's correct. Okay, good. But but that'll only be true when the when the server side is right. There. Right. Right. Of course. Yeah. Right. I, I'm just looking at because you know my support team will be hammering me like every minute because if they can't use this feature and it's available, um, <laughs> they won't want it available. I'm planning to release Radegas very soon that will have the, the administration part of this. So have somebody on your team download and uh, use Radegas as a control panel for banning people. Oh, there, that's, there you go. <laughs> Love it. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Other, other topics? Um, um, I, have a, I have a few. Okay. Why don't we go through those? Uh, okay, uh, leap motion. Um, so uh, uh, David Rowe of Control Alt Studio was working with David O of Leap Motion uh, to negotiate um, getting that developed, and uh, that was working out well for us because I don't have the resources right now to work on it. Um, one thing or another that fell apart recently, a couple days ago, I guess, and um, so there is nobody working on Leap Motion. Uh, David O of Leap is asking me if I can uh, locate developers um, or a developer who would be interested in working on it. So if there's anybody here interested in working on uh, Leap Motion, um, please raise your hand. Um, well, I think I think they're really hoping Facebook will buy them. <laughs> I think Leap Motion is is uh, you know it's got a ways to go technologically. It, it's it's not very accurate right now, um, at least not enough for SL. I don't think, but they are they have promised that they've got a, an SDK update in the process, and um, and and apparently it's it it's a huge improvement in accuracy and granularity, but. Um, you know they're they're really hoping that uh, they can get this in a second life really soon, and and I think it kind of goes hand in hand with with Oculus Rift because you know if you get this monitor on your face, you can't really be reaching for your mouse and stuff. So in that way, I think they kind of go together. But um, again, I don't have the resources, we don't have the developers or the time. So if anybody would like to uh, get involved with that, I also understand he's having a meeting today with uh, Abby Linden. Um, so something may change. I don't know. At the moment, nobody's working on Leap Motion. Uh, I think I think they kind of would go together. I do hope that Leap will get into Second Life at some point. Certainly, you know, seems like it ought to be cool. Yeah, yeah. It just needs, you know, it needs work. And and Loop Motion, I found they were they're very, very, um, you know, hoping this thing could be out like yesterday. And um, you know, it it actually does require quite a bit of work, more than I think they realize is involved. Um, so you know, anybody that's interested, you may have to do some negotiating and and that kind of thing with them. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that in hopes that somebody uh, will 
pick up that ball. Uh, second thing on my list is um, Oz. We're releasing on Sunday evening at 6 p.m. SL time. And that's the um, version that has... The that's 465. Voice. And that's got the voice update and lots of bug fixes. Uh, lots and Excellent. lots of bug fixes. Excellent. Um, and the... Uh, this, this Sunday night? This Sunday night. Uh, it just went out to our preview group this morning. It's been Q in QA for a couple weeks now. And uh, it's looking pretty good, so... Um, the last thing is... Um, the, you guys, Little Rap's not been dropping much code lately, and, and it makes me worry that, you know, you guys are accumulating a whole lot of something somewhere, and, and at some point it's just going to come all down and, boom, surprise! <laughs> could could this be true? Should I be, like, putting on a helmet? Uh, I'm, I'm not aware of any avalanche of code that's imminent. Oh, this is good. Because, you know, project interesting is interesting. Well, Monty, uh, I, I can offer you help with that. Uh, just join our Firestorm Support English group on this weekend and uh, hang around there for a week. We need more, more people like Monty and more people like Baker. Uh, we won't be able to... So Tank does our merging, as you guys probably know. Um, and I understand Tank is away now till the 17th. 17th. And uh, so we won't be able to merge any of that fun stuff yet. Um, or even begin, because that's Tank's nightmare. The bane of his existence. Ooh, a picture. Surprise! Yeah, that. That's what I don't want. Uh, yeah, well, um... Metabill? It's, it's unlikely that we will do another viewer release uh, until... That is, that one of the current candidates will go out as, a, as the default release until the week of the 19th. Um, we try to space them two weeks apart, and we did one this week. So um, the default assumption would be that that won't happen until the week of the 19th. Um, so you won't have anything to merge until then. Uh, well, that'll be around the time we'll just be beginning to look at and cry about interesting. Uh, right. Um, and uh, speaking of... of, of um, Unavailability, uh, the 19th is my last day before I away, go away for a couple of weeks vacation. So as no when are you back? minutes, I will be back June the 3rd. Uh, so our next third-party viewer meeting is not until... June the 6th. Is, yeah, until the June 6th. So we're going we're gonna to skip one. But it sounds like that fits into everybody's calendars pretty nicely. That kind of works out, yeah. Yeah. If I need you, I'll just hop on an airplane and just come and stalk you. I'm I'm going to be really... Are you, are really, you leaving, leaving? I'm leaving, leaving. I'm going to oh, be nice. taking a raft down the Grand Canyon. No way. Yeah. 188 miles. Oh, Road my trip, God. Jeff. No, I'm not we'll doing that. I don't like I don't like water. <laughs> so I will be I will be way 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 off the grid. Uh, I will not even be bringing any electronics with me. So, wow, um, living on the edge. Yeah, it's going to probably be the longest time I've been off the net in. I can't guess how long. What are you doing? A five day trip? Twelve. Twelve day trip. Cool. Yeah. What was the name of that movie, um, you know, with the rednecks? Delivery. Oh, del Delivery. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Is, is that where you're going? No. <laughs> you, you bring a, a plug that, for, That you was know. Tennessee. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so I, I, I don't know what the deal on that's going to be, but um, I, will, I will come back with pictures. Good. Um, 
but uh, we so we won't be having a meeting two weeks from now. Um, uh, oh, Catsnip has an announcement. Catsnip. Kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Yay! Catsnip has a release. Great. Well, it might. Oh, does that mean we won't get stats? We're going to need stats on Monday, then. Or the last week you're here. Uh, oh, geez. You're I mean, gone on the 19th, right? So I, I'm, I'm in theory working on the 19th. Oh, good. Can you... Can you? Because I'm going to want to know how our release is going. Yeah, remind me. Send me email or something so that I okay. am reminded or ping me in Skype or whatever. Because if we're this? like... Sorry, go ahead. I said where they start this week. <clears throat> yeah, I I have not been good about doing the stats the last couple of weeks. We have noticed. Uh, I am, yeah, sorry. Um, the good news is I'm actually getting some attention on getting new reports created. Um, I don't know whether those will be available before I leave or not. I, If I had to guess, I would say they won't, but... Um, but we're we're making progress on that. So um, while I don't know that I'll be producing the same stats regularly for the next couple of weeks, I s hope soon to be doing more detailed ones that have platform breakdowns and so forth. Um, oh, nice. I think will be more useful to everybody. Yeah, big time. Um, we're we're also going to start filtering the unsupported platforms out of the ones that we use to calculate crash rates, which is going to make uh, it worse. you probably own tanks. Probably already told you we're we're following suit with you guys on the XP thing. Yeah, I I, I, I assumed that that was the case. Um, the brake pad thing has increased the the percentage of crashes that we're getting reports on very dramatically. Um, like how many percentiles? <clears throat> uh, I haven't looked at the numbers in a couple of weeks, but um, during the last phase of testing, uh, they went from, we were getting like 10% of the crashes on the Mac. Now we think we're getting 90%. Um, on Windows, it was uh, down around 20, and now it's three or four times that. So um, we're getting a lot more data. Um, and you're sure for sure that it isn't just the brake pad repo is more unstable? Uh, yeah, we actually did some pretty careful experiments. Um, the crash That's rate kind of number uh, was based on, you know, where these marker files were created and destroyed. And we moved the creation much earlier in initialization and the destruction much later in logout. Um, so we're covering more of the code. Turns out lots of the crashes were in logout. Um, so, and previously we weren't getting any counted in logout, um, basically. So uh, it, it's, it's a pretty big difference. But but the the important thing is that we're, we're actually getting crash reports uploaded um, now on far more of the crashes that are occurring. Than we Have you been able to identify what's causing the crashes on logout? Well, yeah, that's it's mostly memory issues, and that's where this memory project oh, I see. came from. Um, so what you're saying is that you are only getting uh, the, the useful dumps from 1 in 10 of crashes on, on Mac before, right? Uh, it, it, very roughly. I, I don't know what the exact percentage was, yeah. but it, it's, yeah, it was very small. And, and that now, went up dramatically in this uh, split process architecture that you have now? Yeah. Yeah, it went way up. We may we may yet go back and do another spin on that. Um, we're, we're just thinking through whether or not it's worth it. <clears throat> to actually make the crash report of the parent process, um, which solves some synchronization problems. 
but I don't know whether we'll go back and do that or not. Still, still uh, to be determined. But um, yeah, uh, Seattle, you may not have heard before. There's a there's a release candidate that'll be coming out the next. I don't know. It's it's just going into QA now. So it'll it, sometime between a few days and a couple of weeks from now, there'll be one that has a bunch of memory fixes in it. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, lots of stuff going on with crash reporting. We're we've got a lot more crash reports to look at now, which is both a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, other topics. Uh, Monty, you're working on. Uh, I presume you're still working on WebKit and. Has Nikki been um, helpful with you? Um, well, I've got my more general library project. Uh, yeah, Nikki and I have been, had a few exchanges. Uh, I sent some stuff, got some stuff back. And, uh, Worley, really, uh, thanks for the um, um, test strategies, test plan, smoke tests for it as well. I got a little mad at WebKit, and I'm going to finish up some other work. Um, Kaladadam is another library that uh, has been needing some attention, the way we build it, the way we package it. And um, I'm going to try to get that stuff out the door as quickly as possible. So you may or may not see QT WebKit in the first thing I do, because I am really getting mad at it. Uh, yeah, Nikki's been having issues too. So you got uh, mad at QT WebKit and went to Kaladadam. That's not good. Um, good morning. <laughs> No, it wasn't. But and it was pot the into the Franken. It's uh, the last big one on my list. And um, it, it <laughs> Dome is a one big uh, circular dependency hell. I'm actually breaking that. Um, Kaladadam uh, has been re-exporting multiple libraries, not just Kaladadam. That will stop. Um, it will be dependent on real builds, not magic binary libraries. Um, so there is going to be some cleanup going on there. And most is looking good. In fact, all right, I might as well speak up about it. I am running the view, the Windows Viewer with the full library cleanup right now. That's what I'm using here. But that is not to say it's ready for release yet, including the Clodadom cleanup. Yes, it was actually Clodadom that was crashing a lot of Linux viewers with the copy-paste. You paste and then the viewer goes boom. And it was because Colada was exporting, I don't, I think it was a, not boost, it was a PCRE, the post, uh, the Perl regular expression thing. PCRE, libxml2, uh, boost, yep. and one more XML library. It has tiny XML, but it doesn't actually use it. And... Um, there's another library. Oh, he also gets a zip library from someplace else, and it has a magic version of libz. Yeah, all that's going to end. Yeah, and a very popular uh, Linux uh, desktop environment uses a PCRE. So when when that went uh, into viewer, copy-paste was basically broken on Linux. It would cause immediate crashes of the viewer. Yeah. Um, the way we build and distribute that and how we get our symbols resolved is fascinating. That this thing is even working, it just floors me. It should not be working as well as it does. <laughs> but also Boost was uh, compiled in several different versions and in several different configurations. And, and mm -hmm. Coladadom was using one of them and the viewer main was using another. And QT WebKit a third. Yep. <laughs> Viewer I'm using has one version of every library. So I've actually been finishing up the the work on a version of AutoBuild that um, checks for package contention uh, in ways that the that the, the old one didn't. Um, that will be coming out at some point. It will be a significant conversion effort to to move to it. Um, it does have some backwards compatibility, but uh, it's um, it bitches and moans a lot if you give it the 
packages that were built with the old auto build. Um, but it will keep you from uh, keep you from installing two packages with different versions in it, which the old one doesn't do. Uh, it it will keep you from installing two packages that both created the same file, which the old one doesn't do, which is really horrifying. Um, so a bunch of other changes. Uh, it's also made a little more usable on the command line. So um, some nice, nice improvements. Uh, that's, that'll be coming out at some point in it. Sometime in the next couple months, we'll, we'll switch over to start using that as the primary version of auto build used for the viewer. So, Have you guys been making any progress on 64-bit uh, libraries? No. We, we haven't really tried. Is that on the list, though? At some it's point? on the list of things I'd like to do. Be nice Maybe to have kind of list. Yeah. Um, at some point, hopefully not too distant future, we'll try to upgrade our tools to the latest versions of everything, Xcode 5 and uh, Visual Studio 2013. Um, we certainly won't attempt... Um, we certainly won't attempt 64-bit until after we've done those. Best case would be to do that at the same time as we do those, but no promises. Um, volumetric clouds are actually not on the nice to have list. They're on the nice not to have list. So um, don't anybody get your hopes up about that. <laughs> That's really good news, Cinder. Thank you. 3D water. Uh, it didn't work on me. I'm uh, not doing that, but uh, okay. <sighs> okay, uh, other topics? Anything else we need to cover? Um, nope. Uh, cool, cool, yeah, one, one other thing. Uh, Sorry, just to get back to Leap really quickly, um, anybody who wants to work on Leap or, or speak with them, and by the way, there's a possibility that there could be money involved, uh, payment for the work, send an email to that address there. That's uh, David O. Yes, David O. <laughs> and Jeff, so what's one other thing you wanted to bring up? Cocoa bugs. Uh, Coco, yes, I have to bring that up every time. Cocoa bugs. Any progress? Uh... Yes. Um, really? We actually hit, well, we actually have somebody working on them, and some of them have been fixed. But the the um, the one with the with the alt camming problem, is yeah, proving to be extremely difficult. That's so. that's a really big big one too. Hmm. Great to hear you guys come on that because there's a lot of people still on four four two. And I, and I would like to get them up on a you know a viewer that supports um, fitted mesh at least. Right. Um, I I believe we've actually made progress on on lots of them. Um, well, Cinder, let's not deal with the specifics of what's wrong with it here, but do drop Aura and I uh, an email, please. Um. Well, always, always good to have code review, no matter where it's coming from. Um, but uh, 
you know, we, we have gotten some things worked on. Um, she's plugging away on the, uh, on the, on the, the, uh, alt camming problem. Apparently the mouse updates are coming in strangely and that's the source of the problem. So we're trying to figure out why. We're not going to let ours go early, are we? Justice here. We can't do that. I think, I think we might. I don't know. Congratulations, Oz. You've got Jess uh, feeling sympathetic for your feeling. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to let you go early. She just doesn't want to keep listening to my voice. <laughs> <clears throat> it does sound pretty bad. <laughs> oh, was, oh, was uh, Abby in Boston? Did you oh, really get to meet him? Yeah, he came out. Oh, good. Yeah. We, had a, we had a great visit. It was very useful for everybody. Um, so this guy I have has to ask. Uh, stolen my heart. I, I really have, like, newfound hope for Second Life with Ebby. This, the, yeah, impressed. So Jess missed it when I asked. But uh, So did you ask him if he'd be interested in coming out? Oh, so this meeting. Uh, no, yeah. I actually didn't. I actually didn't. Forgot to ask him that. Oh, uh, for shame! Uh, I had I had a couple of long meetings with him on other subjects, and it, this this one just escaped my. He's he's uh, spending, a, you know, he's still on the whirlwind. Meet with everybody. Yeah, I figure he's pretty busy. I'd like to ask him to um, join us at one of our our Q and A's. And and even you know we'll do a special one during the week so it works, and um, <laughs> and on a private sim probably for security reasons. But um, uh, we're sort I'm sort of waiting until he's settled in a bit more. He's he's been spending a fair amount of time in Second Life. He says he. he I'm impressed. He yeah. Just pops I'm in various places, and he says it's he stays until the crowd gets too big, and then yeah, he's he's he really up, like you know. Well, of course. He's TPing in from everywhere. He's not just a Linden. He's yeah. like a super Linden. Yeah. So, uh, but he's enjoying it. <clears throat> so. Yeah, we've had a couple <laughs> people come out to the classes that have said, hey, not only does he show up, but he actually talks to people. Oh, yeah. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, well, he, he came and talked with us quite a bit in, in Boston. Last week, so it was, it was great. We we really appreciated it, and I think he got a lot out of it too. Good, good. Yeah, I think he's going to be very good for Second Life. Um, so I don't have anything else aside from you know we're releasing on Sunday, and we expect everything to blow up and. And you guys are going to have to call Linden's in, Linden's in at the middle of the night, you know, that kind of thing. Well, I will send out Routine the stuff. messages as soon as, we're, as soon as we're done here. <laughs> Actually, it should go pretty good, I think. It's mostly bug fixes, no new features, no new major features to confuse people with. And, oh, uh, Sienna, did I hear that you guys are still supporting XP? Like XP, like Service Pack 2, and are you, are you, does Service Pack 1 run with your viewer? Oh, I see, okay. Because we're going to have angry people, and we'd love to be able to send them somewhere. <laughs> I mean evil. that in a good way. <laughs> I mean that in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> just to be clear, we're not, we're not, we're uh, I don't not, like excluding it's, it's, people from SL, but at the same time, I know that there becomes a point where, you know, technology has to evolve otherwise, and, um, but it'd be nice if, to know if there's a viewer out there that still runs on those ancient operating systems. Um, uh, our release does. <laughs> Our next release does, Jeff. Hmm. But that's on XP SP3. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it's always red guest. Yeah, I don't have to wait for any core drops because uh, Radagast is completely different and independent in implementation. And I just look at the network, what's happening, and, and implement it. So I have already group bounds functionality. Oh, I have something. Oz, you thought you were going to get away with it. <laughs> um, hi, Annie. Uh, I've got an email from Flickr. Uh, Flickr is switching purely to SSL uh, for using their API, um, and we're not using SSL, which means you know we're going to have to be going to rewrite that. But we're planning on uh, actually overwriting our Flickr uploader to the Linen Lab uh, SL Share Two, uh, which you guys have. So my question is: Are you guys using SSL? And if you're not, are you aware of this uh, API email that Flickr has sent out? Because they're eliminating uh, altogether; it'll just stop working. I I don't know. I, I I can I can check with the team. I'll forward you the email. Thanks. I'll forward it to you too, Alexa. Yeah. I only got it um, a couple days ago. Well, it could be just a matter of changing HTTP to HTTPS. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's involved. I mean, the thing is, I'm not going to worry about it if we're going to use Linen Labs anyways. But if Linen Lab is, is also affected by this, then um, we all need to worry about it. Right. Did it, uh, when, when is it going to take effect, did they say? Um, they did. And I, I get about 60 emails a day. Um, is that all? Gonna have to, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> uh I'm going to have to go find it, and it, it, it'll probably take me a little while. Um, just scanning through here quickly. Uh, I, I recall something about June off the top of my head, like okay. not far away. Um, oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> that's just next weekend. Who cares? Uh, I will find it uh, as soon as we're done this meeting. Yeah, I can I can track down whether whether or not we are. I if I had to guess, I'd say we probably are. But it look, looks like it's just a matter of changing the the URL to HTTPS. Yeah. So it should be trivial. Yeah, that'd be that'd be easy. <clears throat> Make sure you've got the right certificates in your CA store. All right, I think we're done. Uh, have a good weekend, everybody. Have a good one, folks. I'll have to go and retest the, the group bonds thing if they have changed something on the server recently before I make my final release. Are you going to release it out before they have it uh, finalized? Well, it's not depending on any of their codes, so I don't see why not. Well, I mean, I guess if the server stuff is finalized, then... Yeah, but it's, uh, you know, they are that the server side is more or less complete and it's going to be on the main grid in a couple of weeks. So I plan to have it released at about the same time as it hits the, the main grid, the server part of the code. TechWolf, you're just in time. <laughs> Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> but here. Uh, yeah, it just finished. <laughs>
Where's the after party, man? Yeah. <laughs> and he's he's got his voice working. Oh, meeting. I I spoke too soon. Tech, your voice is breaking up, and we cannot hear anything you say. Oh, that's because all you guys are too much bandwidth. <laughs> I didn't do it. Not me. God, why is it so hard to find a bloody email?